by the right boy Trigger Man back in the lab. And today, what we have here, hey man, today is just a quickie. I got this one little fender. I'm gonna flow coat. I'm gonna flow coat it with the Grant 7. Um, I'm gonna try this stuff without the reducer. I did that video the other day. Um, I reduced it 25%. I'm gonna try it with a different gun. I'm gonna put it through my SATA Jet uh, 5000 RP. Um, again, that's no reduction. That's just mixed straight into the gun. And uh, we're gonna see what it look like like that, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead, mask up, and we're gonna shoot this thing real quick. Man, this is a short one. Boop. Right, all right, I had to get back in on it, man. I dropped that other video today um, on the Grant 7 Clear, on that um, metallic blend on that Toyota Camry. And a lot of guys were telling me that they sprayed the clear before and the clear likes a higher pressure. So, and you can get it to lay down with a higher pressure. So man, I got this here Fender. This is a Fender off of a BMW uh, M3, I believe it was. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this Fender here, man. So I'm using my SATA Jet 5000 RP. Uh, for me to crank up a lot higher pressure, I need more of a conventional type gun, which this is the SATA Jets. They kind of spray like a conventional spray gun, even though it's not, it's an RP, reduced pressure. But to me, I can get them to spray more like a conventional gun over the Pro Light and the Iwata. So that's what I did here, man. Went ahead, sprayed this fender, no reducer, and I actually got that Grant 7 to lay down like it should. So, and this is a fender, it's not gonna go nowhere. The fender's gonna be there in my shop. So I'm gonna have it out in the sun, 24 seven. So this will give me a chance to see the longevity of the clear, you know? So you guys might watch this video maybe six months from now, and like, hey, hit me up. How's that Fender doing with that Grant 7 six months later? You know what I'm saying? Or a year from now, it's still going to be sitting there, man. So we'll know how it holds up in this Florida sun. Right now, I didn't stop the camera. I've hung up my gun, and I'm going to pull it right out in the sun for you guys right away. You know what I'm saying? I try to be transparent as I can with this stuff with you guys, man. I hope you can see that and appreciate that. So I'm taking a wet Fender right out the, right out the booth, right out in the sun so you can actually see. The stuff laid down like glass. Like the stuff was just glass. I mean, it don't get no flatter than that. I had one guy message me and say, oh, I'm not impressed. It didn't flow out. It doesn't have the wet flow. I mean, it ain't, there ain't too much more wetter than that. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it's clear. It ain't too much off the gun wetter than that you can get. Anything wetter than that, you know, is what? Paint running off the side of the fender? I mean, you know, that's it. In my opinion, in my almost three decades of doing this, to me, that's as flat off the gun as you're gonna get man correct me if i'm wrong but that's 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 flat man that thing is nice you know so it can be done it can be done so that 25 percent reduction i was saying earlier in the other video you know that's that was my first run at it you know that was a test and these guys told me like no you can do it you can lay it down without the reducer crank up the pressure so that's what i did dab on the bow yeah so that's what it looked like man straight out of the booth and i'm gonna have this sitting around like i said in the sun 24 7 and if it start to fade and deteriorate hey man you're gonna see it you know grant seven clear you're gonna see it i ain't gonna bs you guys man i haven't this far i won't i won't begin to you know what i'm saying so that's what it is man that's what it is Anyway, your boy Trigger signing off. Please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and please tell his girlfriend. Peace.